Hello Libra, hello and welcome to your August 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. Now before I move on, okay, this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, so Libra, August 2024, we have your energy, Libra energy with justice. Let's see. I feel that some of you are daydreaming. Maybe a lot of you are. It's a form of manifesting. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Some of you are also have been single for quite some time. Now, for those of you that are new, I don't intend my readings to be love readings, but if love shows up, then of course it's welcomed. So a lot of you have been single for quite some time. Maybe you are daydreaming, you know, regarding love, like hoping or, you know, um, that a new adventure of romantic love shows up, okay? Libra, Four of Wands, for Libra, Page of Swords. Some of you also maybe have been hoping to manifest a message from a certain individual from the past. For Libra, August 2024 for Libra. Two more shuffles, please, for Libra. August 2024. Yeah, we're ready, actually, because th there you are. You are the Queen of Swords, so we are ready. Let's do this. You see how you're manifesting here with the Magician? Okay. The Magician, the Great Manifester. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a single woman here, a single energy. Um, um, I mean, you know, she's fine. She's living her best life, or at least she's trying. But still, she doesn't have a partner to share her, you know, abundance with, her time with. Um, okay, first card for you is the Page of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. The Knight of Cups. The Two of Cups, Libra. The Ace of Swords. And the Eight of Cups. So, uh, okay, this is going to be an interesting reading. So, again, this is not going to resonate with all of you. But with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups and the Eight of Cups, I'm getting that a lot of you, a lot of you are facing the truth of the matter especially when it comes to a certain individual from the past now it could be that you have history with this person or not doesn't matter but there was something there obviously there was a connection there between the two of you but i feel that this connection really never really never it never took off or maybe it did. I don't know. That's why I keep saying that it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Because, yeah, love is very personal. But it's like you're facing reality and you're like, okay. This person is not coming back. 
this person was not the person that I thought they were. Again, I'm going back to what I said, that it was a soulmate connection. Yes, it was. It was significant. Oh my goodness, it was. But soulmates come into our life for many different reasons. Maybe you have heard me saying this before. From some we learn and then they move on, while others return often because still we have to learn from those individuals and others remain beside us throughout our entire life. Because someone is a soulmate does not mean that this is a soulmate life partner or that this person is meant to be in your life until the end. Or it does not mean that they will show up again in your life. It's a soulmate connection that has run its course. People come and go from our life. And again, I feel that a lot of you are facing this reality and you're like, okay, what it was, it was. It has fulfilled its purpose and now I need to move on. And this is exactly what you are doing. Because I feel that a lot of you again have been waiting for this connection to maybe start all over or maybe whatever. Again, you see, it's like very personal. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to do that. It's not right. But we see here that you have been waiting for a new opportunity with this specific individual. Okay, Libra? Okay. You have a lot of love here to give. Your cup is full of love. Mm -hmm. And maybe you were not waiting for, for a specific person. Maybe, no, this is not the case. Maybe you're just, we're just craving for a new romantic lover's story connection. And I'm not saying that you're giving up. I'm not saying that. But this is also accepting the fact that you don't have this in your life right now. But you're manifesting it, right? So maybe it's not here yet. But maybe it's just around the corner. So it's like also about <sighs> regaining optimism, Libra. Regaining optimism when it comes to love and romance, okay? Not losing hope. So, let's start clarifying, starting with the page of pentacles. Hmm. This is your energy. We have the king of swords. We'll find the King of Swords with the Three of Wands. The Moon. Mm. You see? And the Five of Pentacles, which is an energy of lack. Again, I, I'm seeing here daydreaming. Or dreaming night. Like dreaming dreams. Because we have the Moon. And dreaming and daydreaming or dreaming is not a bad thing. It's necessary. It's important. But what about the facts? What about the truth? What about reality in this given moment? You understand what I mean. What are the facts? What are the facts? What is really, really going on now, here, today?
Hmm. Do you find the moon for Libra? Do you find the moon for Libra? Thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is also, I see, um, um, coming together with loved ones here with the Ten of Pentacles. Spending quality time with those that are a part of your life, that are significant and are part of your life. King of Cups, but there is the devil here with the desire and the Seven of Swords. Again, I know that this is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? But we see the King of Heart, the King of Love. I feel that this person, no matter their zodiac sign, could be um, the person of your... Um, desire the individual that you are emotionally attached to but i i have to say it that there is a form of illusion here okay yes because there's a lot of desire there's a lot of desire here to connect there's a lot of desire and Actually, it's all about desire and lust and desire to fall in love, to someone to fall in love with you. And when there is that kind of attachment or desire, um, I don't know how to say it. We, we, I don't know how to say it in the right words. When we are in this energy, when we are in this state, we tend to attach our desire to false individuals, like to false individuals that are not meant to give us that. We are not meant to have that love story, that romance with these people. But our desire is so strong that we tend to attach that to a specific individual that we are attracted to for whatever reason. Okay. Who if I said it? <laughs> yes. We all, we all, all of us have done that. Mm, come on, let's be honest. I know you are honest, Libra. Come on, and I see it here. And again, you're facing this honesty. You're facing the truth. Because you are a smart individual. Libras are very, very intellectual, very, very smart. So there's also a lot of self-awareness here. But your eyes, not only your physical eyes, are open. Okay? Clarifying the Knight of Cups. And I really hope I'm helping I really hope I'm helping you here somehow, some way. So your cup is full of love, but there is a sense of entrapment from this um, devil here, that little devil, Panna, God Panna, that is playing this song here for you and you are trapped, yes. You know who is playing this song. And again, it doesn't have to be a specific individual. You could be playing this song inside your head. And you are aware that you need to stop playing this song because it keeps you trapped into a illusion, delusion, lie, or whatever. Okay, you, you're getting, you, you're becoming aware of it. You, maybe you already know it. And you're just like, yeah, fine. I know I'm doing this and I'm fine for now. It brings, it makes me feel alive. Mm. But 
the thing here, the thing here is, Libra, that I'm seeing you, you're clearly stopping this. You're like, okay, it's enough. I, I, I'm done with it. Yeah. It's nice to daydream. It's nice to hope and wish for this individual, the specific individual, but it's not. And it's like, okay, I, I need to, what about now, here, now, today? So it's like by accepting this, actually you're opening up to opportunities that have a chance to become reality, to become your love, romantic love story. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, deep reading. Terrifying the Two of Cups for Libra. Two of Swords is all about you choosing decisions, choosing what do you want to do, right? What makes you feel comfortable, what you want in this given moment? What is like, because everything is a choice, especially if you know the truth and you're facing the truth, you choose to stay into this, illusion, delusion, lie, or whatever, because it's smooth, soothing, it's comfortable, whatever, or you choose to stay in this, or you choose to be like, okay, I'm done with it, you know, what's next? What's next? What is next, Libra? I feel that there's some, oh my, okay, we're going back to the devil and the manifester. So, it's all about a choice. It's all about choosing and you know you can choose whatever you want whatever makes you happy you know what i mean okay page of swords again we see these information the information that could be downloads or just info hmm, that regarding this person or not doesn't matter but the information that are coming towards you, the information that is coming towards you, is coming towards you, is, is, is meant to brighten your horizons, to expand your vision. Okay, now clarifying the Page of Swords and Ace of Swords for Libra. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. Very healing energy with uh, Aquarius here. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I do see that. Mm, you're putting, and, and it could be that there is a... Look. I don't know if, if you will meet someone new. I feel that some of you will meet someone new. Mm -hmm. Yes, it could be. I do see, and again, it's not for all of you, but I do see someone here approaching. Flirting with you. Giving you attention. Libra. And this is definitely not an illusion. This is like in reality. This it's now. It's here. It's now, right? This I feel is going to shake you up. Yeah, I do feel it very strongly that this ember here is going to shake you up because they're coming in with the arrows of love. They're coming in with a loving energy towards you. Mm hmm. And again, I'm not saying that this emperor is your, your, your soulmate life partner or the one that you're going to have a relationship with. Maybe yes, maybe no. But it's like, it's, 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 a, it's a significant individual that will take you out of that merry-go-round of the past. Mm -hmm. 
And we see here that you are turning your back to the past. Yes, yes. Now you see, you are on the boat. You see, you're leaving. You're letting go, you're leaving here, you're on the boat. Heading towards another soulmate experience, another soulmate connection. And you are excited here, uh, Libra. You are very much excited for what the future holds for you when it comes to love and romance. Okay? Mm hmm Okay. Because it's about the details. Maybe you worked with this person in the past. I feel that some of you worked with this person that you still have this soul bond with. Uh, you work together with this person. Yes, some of you. But again, it's becoming very specific and I don't want that. We have the lovers. Before I end this, clarifying the lovers for Libra. It's all about moving forward. As I said, um, yes, you're under a chariot. No longer you are on the hangman and in this hangman position, holding yourself back or holding yourself um, back. No, you are moving forward. And I do see Libra that some of you here are traveling, like literally traveling. Maybe you will meet someone along the way. Yes. That will. Ooh, za, za, za. That's what I heard. Ooh, za, 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 za. <laughs> okay. Be open to that. Be open. You are. Okay. Who? It was a strong reading. Libra. Message advice for Libra. Message advice for Libra. Regarding your well-being for August, we have invite your fears to tea. Fears aren't in facts. Okay, fears aren't facts. Often they're just scary thoughts or feelings. Instead of judging your fears, invite them to tea. Offer them a cookie and have a chat. Listen to what they have to say. When we're courageous enough to be with what scares us, we receive powerful wisdom. And at one point, point, I did say that maybe it feels comfortable for you, always soothing for you to keep um, yourself attached to a past story because it is a past story. It is a dream. It's not here. It's not now. Maybe that here and now could be that is scary, right? So it's more comfortable to be attached to a past energy, to a dream, to a story that is not real. Uh, I'm gonna move on now, okay? Yes, to your spiritual message. Because yeah, it's more comfortable to love from far away to desire from far away. But when it knocks our door and it's here now, here, we're like, oh my goodness, what do I do now? You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you do. Okay. Especially if you have been single for quite some time. Mm. Or if you were in a toxic uh, marriage or relationship mm -hmm. for libra spiritual message for libra we have falcon commitment instinct boldness i'm totally committed and focused upon my goal you are more okay you are more skillful than you give yourself credit for but you will only realize your abilities and develop them further by putting yourself to the test. Step up, act and go for it with gusto. Believe that you can handle yourself in any situation that arises. 
invite your fears to tingle. Okay? Change your mind or your direction without hesitation based on what your intuition is telling you at any moment. You will achieve when you head straight for the goal. As an emblem of success, Falcon heralds a victory. So commit yourself wholeheartedly and do not give up until you get to where you want to go. Libra, this is what I got for you. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.